Hi, honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, today I'll be using my Pinsoon 10 quart air fryer oven. Okay, so I'm going to use the rotisserie part of it. First time ever using the rotisserie. So I had sous vide a pork tenderloin yesterday and I put it in the refrigerator. So that's, um, that's what I'll be doing today. That's the meat I'll be using. I already put it on this little stick thing to save time because it takes me quite a while. So it's nice and juicy. I had it in my vacuum seal bag. I, had, I cooked two. So here's the other one. It's in here. I had to cut a little piece off of this one so it would fit on this thing. You know what? Okay, which end? I'm going to use this, this fetch tool to put it in the air fryer oven. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to put this flat end first. And when you're using this, okay, when you're trying to put this the stick in, spit in, I think that's called a spit, this long rod in. It's easier if you put this in in first with the two little notches and then you put the other end on with the one long notch. Okay, I'm going to put in the left side first and then the right side. Okay, I've never even had the rotisserie portion of this on yet. So this is new. So it's plugged in. Let me see. Okay, turn it on and turn the light on. Lower this where's the rotisserie part? Something something oh, right here. Turn it on. Little snap. Okay, I'm gonna uh, get a better angle. I have no idea what to set this on for small pork tenderloin and I'm gonna show you you see inside of here the little thing in the bottom is spinning around it's actually circulating the hot air in here and rotisserie portion it is spinning around slowly I'm just going to have to watch it because I have no no idea how long it's going to take for the outside to brown, but I don't want it to get dry. I'm trying to get you a better look at it. So we're going to see. Well, it is working, and I'm fascinated by it. I like looking at it. So I'll check it in a few minutes. Okay, the rotisserie is still spinning away. It's nice. So I'm going to take it out. I want the outside of the meat to be brown. So I think I need to spray it with some olive oil. I'm not sure. I've never done this before. But I'm trying to show y'all everything I'm doing. Push it back. Use this tool. Be careful not to burn my hand on the door. Oh wow, 
this. Nice. Let's spray it. I don't know if you're supposed to or not. Turn around. Come on now. I don't want no dry meat. I want it brown too. It's already done from the sous vide. Left side in first. Okay, there it goes. That was easy. So it's picking up where it left off. Turn the light on again. Just wanted to brown. So we're going to see together how this works. I'm very anxious. And the little thing that I thought wasn't going to spin around, the little fan at the bottom is spinning around because I'm not blocking the air from the top from reaching it. You know, it's a fan in the top with the heating coil. Okay, I'll be back. It's a few more minutes. Maybe if I show this to you at an angle, you can see it better. Okay. You can go ahead and take it out of here. Nice. Okay, it's getting ready to shut off. It's been rotisserie ink spinning for 15 minutes at 355 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's beeping to let me know it's getting ready to cut off. I want it to stop completely. There you go. So that's what shows up when it stops. The fan is still running, but the heat is off. Push it back. Open it. I'll wrap it in for you. Being very careful not to hit the sides of this hot oven. It looks juicy. Look at that. It needed to be sprayed. Okay, put it on there. And some of the uh, some of the gravy, the I juice that was in the sous vide bag. I'm just gonna pour that on here, and I'm gonna wrap this in foil and just let it sit for a few minutes. Not to touch the uh, the middle rod. Just gonna let it rest. Y'all see what I'm doing? And then I'll slice it up. I'll unplug it. I always unplug my uh, appliances when I'm through. Some people leave them plugged in, but I don't. Okay, I'll be back in about five minutes. Then I'm going to slice it. I'm excited. Okay. That was easy. Okay, I'm getting ready to unwrap. It's been about five minutes. It certainly smells good. I don't know how hot that is. I'll leave it alone. Okay, let me get some gloves. Oh, I gotta use these big old gloves. The thing is hot. I don't wanna use big, big old gloves. Let's see if I can. I know. minute. 
Okay, I'm using these silicone lids. They fit on top of your pots or they're lids, but they're also silicone and I'm going to use these as pot holders. They're smaller, more flexible than big old oven mitts. Hold this in because it's hot. I'm gonna unscrew this. There's little screws on the fork. Just unscrew it enough to uh, be able to pull this fork out. Do this one. Up. You unscrew it enough. Probably not. Put that aside, but I don't want to lose it. I'm going to push this off. It's perfectly done. Um, it just browned a little bit from the rotisserie. Very little. Let me turn it on this side. I want to taste it. Proud of it. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Cause when Walter come in here, he's gonna <laughs> want to dump a lot of stuff on his and and eat. Still got this our juice. It's hot. Taste this. I don't need no fork. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tender. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Feel like taking a piece in there in the room to walk and let him taste it. Mmm. I highly recommend that if you're going to fix a pork tenderloin or a beef roast, even sous vide it first. Then put on your rotisserie. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. I can't believe how nice and tender this is. And of, of course I was going to put a little juice on it. You 
keep doing this again. Make sure it's true. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Okay. The rotisserie function in the pencil 10 quart air fryer oven. It works marvelous, marvelously. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I can just imagine putting the chicken on there. Probably have to be maybe a three pound chicken. And we'll try chicken next. Okay. This is good, y'all. I give it two thumbs up. For real, for real. If I don't use it for anything but rotisserie food, it's a winner in my book because that portion works very well. The air fryer basket portion works. I had a little trouble with getting the racks in and out. But I may have had too much weight on the racks. I don't know. I'm going to use this, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. I wish y'all could taste this right now. I'm going to have to slice it all up. Because Walter here grabbed this piece and think it's all his. <coughs> crazy. Well, let me stop talking. I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll leave the information for the Pinsoon 10 quart air fryer oven in my description box. So, you all have a very blessed day. Okay, bye. Thank you.